Hi, I'm Chris. I'm Cynthia. And we're the CNC family. Um, today we're here to talk to you about something really interesting. I decided I would put up a KGG ad when we were looking for housing and having trouble and see if I could get any responses that way. So I put up an ad detailing what we were looking for and you would not believe how quickly I got responses, but they're not the responses I was hoping for. What was it, six responses About in one day? six in an hour, actually, an hour. Yeah. after I posted the ad. So I was like excited at first, and then I realized what was happening. So I'm just gonna read off a couple of these texts that I ended up getting back, these messages, um, within an hour, actually, after I did this. So number one. So I'm just going to read this really kind of long-winded one first, just to let you know how hard this person tried so much to get us to give him some money. Mm. Okay? It says, Hi, Cynthia. Good morning. I was just looking at your ad. Are you still interested in the three-bedroom house in Brampton? And I said, yes. And he says, good. The rent is 2000 monthly. Well, the damage deposit is 800 Located at Fort Pefferlaw Circle. Utilities are included in the rent. When do you plan to move in? So I put, we were hoping May 1st. Because at the time, we, were, like we've been saying, we've been trying to find a place a long time. He said, does the 27th work for you for a viewing? I can send you an email. Uh, I can email you the pictures for now if that's fine. That's what he said. Okay. Perfect, what's your email address? So I gave it to him. And then he says, I emailed you the pictures of the house. How did you like it? Uh, now did you get it? Very clean, newly renovated. Hope you're interested. So I looked at the pictures that he did send me and I said, the pictures look nice. It looks like a good size for my family. In fact, it looked like a luxury home, to be honest. And it said, yes, it does. Glad you like it. Just a few questions if you don't mind. What's your full name? Do you have references and a proof of income? Do you smoke? Do you have pets? How many people will be staying with you? So I gave him that kind Typical. of info. And it says, sounds good. Glad you don't, what? Smoke. Sorry, glad you don't smoke. I'm definitely interested. Can you email me a proof of income and landlord reference preferably? I'm actually trying to secure a tenant ASAP if possible. Today it's been stressful looking for one. This sounds good to me. If you don't mind, Cynthia, could you fill in, out an application for this and put down the deposit to secure the place? The deposit's $800. With that, I can guarantee you have this spot for sure. You don't have to keep looking. We can both stop our, our searches for now. And of course, he said, I hope you understand. So I said, I don't feel comfortable sending any money before seeing the place in person. I'm tired of, sorry, um, I'm tired of looking too, but I'm also aware that there are a lot of scammers out there. You can't be too careful. And he says, I definitely understand your point of view, but this is not a scam. In a, in a matter of fact, I'm currently in the falls now. That's why I can't meet falls. you on the, till the 27th. Watch the news. I watch the news about the scams. It's tiring. This is no scam. That I can tell you. And I can back that up by sending you. Where is that? Sorry. <laughs> ah, sending you a pic of my driver's license. If that will make you more comfortable with this. Also, the deposit here is just to secure the house, not that you're finalizing it yet. If by chance, after viewing and you don't take, the, take it, the deposit's refundable. That's why the deposit alone will, for now, will be a receipt for, for it too, okay? And he said, I hope that works. He says, I hope that works anyways. I definitely understand. Oh, that's that other part, sorry. <laughs> um... So essentially, I just told him I'm not comfortable. Oh yeah, he sent me another message saying, good morning, did you get my message yesterday? You never got back to me. Are you still interested? 
And I just told him, I'm not comfortable sending any money ahead of time. Could we just wait and see the place on the 27th? And he said, okay, that's what I wanted to know. Thanks. Never got back to me after that. 27th, never saw the house. So that was one of the more, more that's he interesting didn't, scams. That's because he didn't actually have the house. Of course not. He sent me pictures, but I mean, as everybody knows, you can get pictures from pretty much anywhere of housing. Oh, yeah. I've seen some great amalgamations so. there lately. One of them said, uh, 125 McLaughlin, uh, McLaughlin Road? Something like that, yeah. Yeah, one, 125 McLaughlin. So I, I looked up the address, which is, I guess, people don't do or something. And it was the Chris Gibson Rec Center. <laughs> so that's really funny. And then he saw the same one with a different address on it. Yeah. And I'm like... This time it was the plaza around the corner. And you know they're just going to ask for money up front, like a deposit, and then just, that's it. You, they steal your money. I or, get get, or get you to get into a whole thing, then put money down like your first yeah. and last, and then disappear. Yep. And I also got another one that said, I just relocated here in Florida due to, the, due to the fact that I got a new job. I moved here with my whole family. Initially, I wanted to sell the place off. Whoops. But I changed my mind to rent it out to someone who will take care of the place. That means a lot to me. I attached the interior pictures in this email. After viewing the pictures, if you still find interest in the place, I'll be sending you the keys and all the documents immediately. Below is the rental application. So, I mean, come on. That just sounds stupid, right? So the, I asked him if I could see it in person because that's important to me to make sure it's a legitimate rental, obviously. And he says, I don't have anybody to show the place at all. The new job I came here, I, I, got, here. Came, I got here came as an emergency. So I had to take the keys and all the documents with me. And I have a small family and I left with all of them. And of course I can send you a copy of the proof of ownership if you have any doubts. I'm like, really? <laughs> It's just one thing after another after another with these scam artists. Well, yeah, that, that's what we went through the first time. Six in an hour. All of them scams. I mean, this is Most what, of them asking for a deposit. Yeah, 800, saying, 700, Saying, you send me money, I'll send you keys. Yeah, and you, and you know they asked 10 people that. So uh, out, of the, out of the 10 people that they got a hold of. How many people how fell many people, for that? Yeah, I wonder how much money they made that day. Hopefully, other people are as smart as I am about scammers because I'm always suspicious every time. Like, somebody comes to me, oh, this is wonderful for your family. I can help you out. I wonder why they're, asking, why they're saying that. Mm -hmm. You know? I'm always a little bit paranoid about them scamming me because we don't have the money to lose. No. We're so short on the cash. I mean, we can't just jump into every little thing, throw deposits here and there in the first place. So even if it was a legitimate thing, we couldn't. It's always people that they know are desperate, you know, that they go after. Old people or old people, people that yeah. are not very well off, you know. Oh, yeah. If we were an older couple, I mean, we might have even gone for it. Who knows? It's terrible. But anyway, that was a lot of fun. So yeah. just for anyone one out there looking for a place... I wouldn't recommend bothering to put up an ad like that because I literally just said we're a good family of five looking for a place and I gave our budget and kind of a little background about us and the fact that we've been living here seven years, we have a good reference with our landlord, that sort of thing. And immediately that's what happened to me. Mm. So it put a little more stress in my day than I needed, to be honest. It was already bad enough. <laughs> Well, see, that's the thing we had to go through, and we're still going through it. Every time we do anything that an announces that we're looking for a place, we get scams like this. In fact, I'm expecting that there's somebody's going to see something like this on Facebook or on YouTube and just start texting us. Oh, well, no, we're the good people. We're no, going to give we're it to the you nice for real. Ones. Yeah. Mm, yeah. Anyways, so that was what we wanted to talk to you guys about and show you our fun lives. <laughs> I promise we're going to do a lot more fun videos at some point. But yeah. for now, we're just we're going through it, so we feel we'll share our lives with you a little bit, let you get to know us a bit. Yeah, and besides, if we're honest, I mean, I haven't done this before. I'm still learning this. So, you know, once I have the 
techniques down and maybe I can actually use this phone as a camera for a little bit until we get a decent one. We just got to figure that stuff out. Yeah, we just, we're new at this, but we're going to have some fun later on with it. All right. So we'll see you next time. Bye for now.